of Nigeria. Do you want electricity? Do you want better security? Take a good look at that man there. He is as straight in character as his figure is in figurative terms. Is that not the kind of man you want for your president? The government campaigned on the promise of constant power, even though they didn't go into so much details or specifics that they wanted to change. I believe the government is under pressure to deliver because they did promise a lot and um, a lot of people bought into those promises. I mean, for the first time in Nigeria's history, an incumbent president was unseated democratically via election. So it's a lot of um, the pressure on them to deliver. First of all, I think the government thinks that coal is a cheap option for generating power. Um, we have coal in abundance in a number of states spread across Nigeria. And globally, coal is touted as being a cheap source of power supply. That would be the government's first consideration in thinking of coal to generate 30% of its power need, the, the power needs of this country. looking forward to see that the power plant can bring a lot of development in terms of uh, uh, human, in terms of uh, material, in terms of even physical development. So we think when it being uh, take off, all these things coming to stay in Itobe. And that's our expectation. We have a lot of unemployment in the Tobi community, mm. of which many of our boys, our sons and daughters are lying here without doing anything. And they have finished school. So I finished secondary school, primary, even university. They are not having a job. They are lying in their mother's uh, and their father's company doing nothing. But if this uh, 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 company is here, they may help us in one way or the other. We realize as an organization that uh, the people of Itobe have no idea what the effects of coal power generation would be on their environment, on their health, and on their social construct. So we informed them on environmental impact assessment and social impact assessments to be able to mitigate what the effects of this would be and for them to be able to negotiate better with the government and with the company on um, the effects of coal power generation on their community. That is why communities and NGOs should work together. If NGOs understand what these things are about, if the communities are affected by working together we will ensure that men are at their best.
I think we need to be really worried about Okobo and the people at, in Okobo. In just the four years that the coal mine has been in Okobo, it's already devastated their only source of water. And so women and children have to travel long distance to fetch water. Just now again, we used to go far away again. There is not near here. We have to go with one kilometer. It's not near, far away places. That is how we used to get good water to drink now. It will take, take us uh, one hour to come. You see women coming, ba? I'm going to get a Early in the morning, before 7 o'clock, when you come here, we have to fetch here, pure white. But by this time, river has spoiled, it's eating good again. Uh, there's very little supervision by the government of the coal mine in that community. That's worrisome. That's worrisome for their health. That's worrisome for their social economic rights. That's worrisome for the future of the entire community. So the mining uh, by mining, the, the what the chemical are from there used to pollute the, the community. Healthcare supposed to be mounting in case of the infection. There's nothing to do such for us. First of all, Nigeria needs to develop, and it needs energy to develop. And my perspective is that there is clean energy available that can be used to do so. Renewable energy is becoming a competitive, a cost-competitive option. If you remove all the fossil fuel subsidies, and there are many, many in this country, renewable energy can compete. So you can build a solar farm. Coal is really bad for the environment and Nigeria is in a desperate situation when it comes to energy production. But this should not force government to take desperate actions. We need to sit down to think, to weigh the cost, to think about what are the impacts. If the Nigerian government has made up its mind, that's the way to go. I would say let's minimize the amount of coal we harness for energy generation. Let's look largely to renewable energy options. Um, I would say that we also need to regulate mining very strictly, very, very strictly, bearing in mind that the consequences could be more expensive than the cost of coal itself. <laughs>